Hi, Judy from Witch Peacecraft. Welcome to my yarn adventures this week. My update and what I have made and a bit of yarn chat. So let's get started. It's Sunday afternoon here. It is extremely hot outside. We're in the current throes of a heat wave, which is early for us in October, but that's how it goes. So I did a bit of gardening earlier this morning, but now it's way too hot to go outside. What have I been making? Well, my knitting projects, um, I became very frustrated and with in the early part start of this week and I've put them to one side and I'm leaving them for a while. I'm not even sure I will ever complete the MCAL with Stephen West. It, um, I was watching someone's video, can't remember who, that said, if you don't enjoy knitting the project and it's not something you think you will wear or use or sell afterwards, then what is the point? Because for me, especially knitting and crocheting is a way of um, relaxing, unwinding after a stressful day at work. So all the knitting put aside, I concentrated on crocheting and making things for my market stall in November, which is a big fundraiser for Emma's Quest, and what I could sell and what would sell, especially with it being hot. So I made some more Octos. Ta-da! These two. I made Angry Octo and I made this sleepy little keyring Octo. I'm not very good with faces and the reason it's sleepy is I forgot to put eyes in before I closed it all up and did it. So this is sleepy on, and I found this key ring in my stash from when I used to make more of them. So I thought this would be a cute backpack buddy and in this rainbow yarn, I've been using scrap yarn. Um, it is a way of using up my scraps. This one became angry um, Octo, one because he's very red in the face and when I did the face, it just looked angry. <laughs> so a couple of more Octos. Remember, all the tutorials, patterns, channels I talk about will be in the description below. This is the Dabbling Hooks tutorial. I love it. Um, it's so easy and you can make it different sizes. And the faces and the names are just something I do. But that may have to come to an end because I'm running out of ideas. So that was my little late lunchtime working on at work, finished objects. Then I decided with it being so hot and living near the beach and looking at something online, I thought I'd make a toddler beach poncho. Now I have a lot of this cotton left over from a project. It's premier cotton. It's a cotton acrylic blend. And I thought I would try it in a poncho. So, of course, I made my favourite poncho, the Queen's Poncho by Bag O' Day, and that's it there. I think it's reasonably lightweight. I, it's quite, because of the pattern, it's quite airy, and it'd be good for the beach being cotton and acrylic, just for a little toddler to slip over if it's getting a bit chilly. Now, I normally decorate the front with some sort of blingy thing, and I can't make up my mind with this one. So... I'd appreciate some feedback as to what you think. I might have to rest it there. So I have this little yellow flower that can go there, but I'm concerned that that blends in. An option too is I have this green button I can put there. So what do you think? The green button or, <laughs> before I drop it, the yellow flower. I'd really like to get a, a brighter green like a flower. I may check out my craft store but let me know what you think because the idea is not to buy stuff to use the stuff I have. Yellow flower or green button on my Queen's Poncho. The other question I have for you is I have this much yarn left over and I was thinking should I make a little scrunchie in that yarn to go with it as a bonus thing to go with the poncho. What do you think? Would a little scrunchie go well with that in the leftover cotton? So yeah, let me know in the comments below this video. I really appreciate your feedback. It does help me um, take a direction to finish a project. Of course, the Queen's Poncho is the famous Bag O' Day tutorial that I have used before. 
The next thing is I had bought this last year and I never made a lovey for it and um, cleaning up. I decided I'd make a lovey for this Christmas koala. Ta-da! So I made this little lovey. It doesn't take long to whip up and I'm going to put this on my market stall to sell. If it doesn't sell, then I'll put it in the Etsy shop because I've sold the koalas in there before or the made it shop. But yes, this is um, Spotlight's 50-50, uh, which means it's 50% acrylic, 50% wool. It was in my stash. It's like two-thirds of a wool. I don't normally use wool, but it was the right colour red. And this is the, of course, Zelda RJ3Z's tutorial. This is the lovey that I really like to make. And I put the border myself. That's just an acrylic white to give it a bit of um, difference. What do you think to my koala? It's pretty cute. It's really soft. And so is this. Considering it's got wool in, it's really soft too. Anyway, that was my finished project number three. Now, of course, with the markets, I continually, because I have to restock, I've been making tea towel toppers. And I've made three this week, these two and this one. I try and vary up the colours and try and do different things. One, to keep me interested, and two, so that they'll sell. So, of course, when I can't think of what else to do, I do a tea towel topper, especially when I'm sitting watching television or it's my lunch hour at work and I think, well, I can just do some of that without thinking. So there are my finished things for my market that's coming up in November. I met up with Doreen Emma's mum. We went for iced tea because it was too hot for coffee. Had a bit of a talk about um, different things we can do. I can do at the market. I know she really appreciates the effort I put into it. Um, I don't expect Emma and Doreen to come down. It will be incredibly warm that day and that's not good for Emma. But we will see. But I'm sure Thing will be there to give me a hand to set up with everything. So... I have other projects on the go. Today being Sunday, I'm not cooking today, which is unusual. Uh, Reeves is cooking. Um, he decided he got up early this morning and he's put something in the slow cooker and that's what we'll be having for dinner. And I've done some housework. So this afternoon I'm going to sit and relax and finish some objects I've got on the go. I've got... Um, well, of course, my luck of the draw to catch up on. Um, I make make some more octos. I've got one octo. He just needs his t tentacles put on. And yeah, some other little things to finish off. Because today is going to be a finishing day as we approach the end of October. Can you believe the year has just flown by? So, until next time, stay safe, stay well. And remember, you can get lovey-dovey for Christmas too. Bye for now.